If you've used Minvo before, you know that it's a powerful video editor and it can go beyond just editing short form clips for your socials. In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple workflow for recording your long form content and how you can use Minvo to edit that content. Let's do it. So the first thing that you wanna do is script or outline the video that you're gonna be creating. In many cases, I like to use tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity to help me come up with that initial script. And what's cool is with a tool like Perplexity, you can have AI research the topic ahead of time, gather all kinds of information on what you're about to discuss, and then have it help you write an initial script that you can use for your video. This is a massive time saver. But when using AI tools like this, you always want to remember to make sure that you're editing the script, verifying the information that AI is giving you, and making the script and content your own. Okay, next is recording the video. There's not really much to say here for this one. I personally like to use OBS for recording all of my videos, but you could use Loom, Zoom, Riverside, or any of the vast number of recording software out there. Now, the one tip I will add, and this probably took me way longer to realize than it should have, record your videos as one long recording. Don't stop for screw-ups or retakes. Just keep the camera rolling. It's much easier to cut the outtakes from a single video than trying to manage a million different files and keeping them organized. Maybe this one is common sense, but anyways, moving on. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is upload your unedited video into Minvo. So we're gonna click Upload, choose a file, and open. After your video is uploaded, you'll want to choose the Caption and Edit Short option. And then for the AI features in this video, I'm gonna leave every option checked. In my opinion, it's much quicker to remove effects than add each one in individually. By default, Minvo is going to have you in a vertical format. And in the case of this video, we're gonna create a longer form content for something like YouTube. So we wanna make sure that we select landscape here. The key thing to remember here is that your unedited videos must be less than 10 minutes in length. That is the maximum length that Minvo is able to handle on a single timeline. So this will only really work for your shorter long form videos like this one. So that means if your entire recording is more than 10 minutes in length, you may need to cut that down a little bit before uploading it to Minvo. So with your video loaded and ready to go, I like to scrub through the transcript and delete any outtakes or retakes from the transcript first. And I'll do that by highlighting the specific text and clicking cut. So I've just gone through and I've cut out every outtake from this video by just highlighting that text. And now I'm gonna come down into the timeline and I'm gonna remove all of the silences that I have in this video. So to remove the silences, all you have to do is come down and hover on a space where nothing is being said and click in that box and hit delete. And you can easily just scroll through the timeline here by holding shift and using the scroll wheel. And I'll just delete out each one of these silences. So my initial unedited recording was about four to five minutes. And you can see after we went through, we cut that down to about a minute 13. And we did that just from removing the outtakes and cutting out the silence from that video. Now we'll work through this video one more time, adjusting any visual effects, sound effects, or B-roll that we have in this video. So if you scroll down and over in this timeline, you'll see where all the different effects are being added into our video. So we have an emoji here, another emoji. We have some B-roll over here, more B-roll. So we're gonna play through this video and just make these adjustments as we're watching the video together. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Minvo to edit longer form video. Okay, first up, I'm gonna add a visual effect in here. I'm gonna do a pop in to start this clip. And it looks like we lost our sound effect in here as well. So I'm gonna add in a sound effect. So we'll right click and hit insert sound. And I'm going to go with pop three. I'm gonna adjust this volume to 150. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Minvo to edit longer form video. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is script or outline the video that you... And I can see that our emoji got moved down into the bottom here. I actually want this to show up right in the middle of the screen. And we can change the emoji if we want. We can add different animations to that emoji and we can even add sound effects. But I'm just going to leave this emoji as is and we're just gonna place it in the middle. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. So let's keep playing through. What you're gonna to wanna to do is script or outline the video that you'll be creating. In many cases, I'll use platforms like ChatGPT and Perplexity AI to help me write an initial script for my... And I actually want to add some B-roll into this section. In many cases, I'll use platform... So we'll right click again and we'll choose insert media. And here we can search what we want. So let's say AI chatbot. Let's see what we get. This will be a good one to use. Showing chat GPT on the screen right there. And another thing to note is you don't necessarily have to use the stock B-roll that Minvo has. If you have your own B-roll that you want to edit in, you can actually right click insert media and upload your own B-roll or video as well. So now I'll keep playing through. I'll use platforms like ChatGPT and Perplexity AI to help me write an initial script for my video. And what's cool with a tool like Perplexity... Now here is where I will add in my video effect. Do that pop-in effect that we were adding in earlier. 
And then once again, we have our little emoji, but our emoji seems to be small and in the corner again. So we'll just move it over. You can have AI research the topic that you'll be creating the video about, gather all kinds of information that you can discuss, and then have it write the first draft of your script. So cool. Let's go back to where I say, so cool. This is one I definitely want to have a pop-in effect on. So let's back up just a little bit and see how that looks. Of your script. So cool. Next is recording like your video much to say here for this one i personally like to use obs for recording all of my videos come in here insert media what's up uh recording a video for b-roll so we got a guy recording himself for content i like that really stay here for this one i personally like to use obs for recording all of my videos but you could use loom zoom riverside or any of the vast number of recording softwares that exist. With your video recorded, next you wanna upload your uncut video to Minvo. The key thing to remember here is that your unedited videos. So in this part of the video, I'm saying something important that I wanna make sure that the listener is going to pay attention to. And this is another instance where I can come in here and add effects, and maybe add in that pop-in effect once more, just to really grab someone's attention. The key thing to remember here is that your unedited videos must be less than 10 minutes in length. That is the maximum length. You can see that by adding in that pop-in effect, the video is a little bit more attention grabbing to make sure that that listener is going to pay attention to what you're about to say next. Maybe to add one more element to really drive the point home, let's insert another sound effect. I'll search another sound effect in here. Let's see if we have like keys jangling. Is that a word? Is that a thing? Ooh. All right, that's what I want to use. I want that. So now as I'm saying the key thing. The key thing to remember here is that you're on and I'm actually, I'm gonna shorten this sound effect up because I don't want the door closing in the background. So I'm just gonna grab the edge of this and I'm gonna shorten it up to there. So I'll play through it again. The key thing to remember here is that your unedited videos must be less than 10 minutes in length. I like that. So the key thing, and then you hear the keys kind of fumbling in the background. Awesome. In length. That is the maximum length that Minvo is able to handle on a single timeline. So this will only really work for your shorter long form videos. Like this one, with the video loaded, I don't care for the B-roll that Minvo added in for that. So one, I can click on this B-roll and I can change it. Or for this one, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to delete it. I don't think it's really necessary for this part of the for video. Long form videos like this one. So with your edits complete, we're going to go up to the top corner and we're going to click export. And here you can post the social directly, SMS to phone, or download that video so you can upload later. And then you're done. Now you can work through a similar process for creating the shorts from this video that you've already uploaded. Or you can re-upload your newly edited and exported video back into Minvo and let Minvo's AI do the heavy lifting for you. If you enjoyed this quick video, be sure to give it a like. And if there are any parts of this process that you'd like covered in greater detail, let me know down in the comments of this video.